Mm. I wonder, why is this world so mucked up? I mean, honestly, who gives a crap about society these days? Oh, hey. <laughs> well, you folks are just the ones to talk to. Um, yeah, welcome back. You didn't expect me to come back so soon. Although, yeah, it took a lengthy amount of time for me to return my face to the channel. But here I am. I have decided to make a video again for you all. Now, today I'm going to be talking about something that is not potentially <sighs> severe. It is a severity in society. Um, that's assumptions. And you could class stereotypes in that. Listen, the world is twisted with reality. And coming with that supplements imbalance. Now, I would love to have a perfect balance, but we can't have that because we are fundamentally flawed. Due to our genetic factors that not only neurologically develop us, but also physically develop us in many areas and areas in life. And <clears throat> um, within my own consensus, it is right for me to say we don't know much about ourselves. Um, we only know much about ourselves if we study ourselves. We are the experts of ourselves. Now, social media has reinforced the degeneracy to plant stereotypes on certain people, giving ugly people a, ma a bad name in dating, for example. Or, for instance, oh, all rich men are ugly. And morals, oh, they're moral indecency. Listen. When you make assumptions like that, you automatically judge everyone in the class. And that is quite disrespectful. It's like you thinking or assuming that ignoring women will attract them. What? What kind of philosophy is that? Tell me this. If you're going to have a conversation with somebody, why the hell would you ignore them? Maybe you would have said to them before that you were busy with work. But if you just flat out ignored them out of nowhere one day, you never spoke to them after, I mean, out of nowhere, after having, um, having to interact in such a positive a conversation on text, um, it, it befuddles you. These people who ignore other people who try to have a conversation with them make the assumption that if you ignore people, then you're going to attract them. And I'm, I'm like, that is a crock of shit. That's the truth. Don't blame me for calling it out from what it is. But it is a crock of shit. See this advice that you get online. It's misleading. It is. Um, you may not agree with me, but it needs to be said. And the reason why it has to be said is because when you assume that this advice is efficient in being able to sound different and mysterious, why would you want to be mysterious? I mean, why would you want to be different from your own identity? That is the crucial part of yourself. You need to learn who you are. You need to stand on where you belong. In other words, remember where you came from once you get to your highest moment in life. For example, if you were an author who published a, a book on cryptocurrency and you basically were ranked the most selling author, um, that's normally instinctively where your ego comes in. But since your rational mind has established the moral philosophies that you have when you've written it down on your journal, being able to evaluate yourself, 
humbly. Respectively, that puts you in a position where you're comfortable with your own self, no matter the status, the wealth, the looks. I mean, you need to be happy. There is definitely a, deficient, a deficiency in happiness. And I can tell you something right now. See these men and women that you get online that show up on your screen who are physically attractive. That's where you start to put standards on the lower class. And then you get people who are in the manosphere of influence. Typically construct philosophies, ideologies, um, paradoxes, concepts that they propose that isn't official and they propagate this in society. In one side of reality it can be beneficial but in the other it can be extremely dangerous. Take black pill for example. That is disguised come on explain to me what's black pill it's the hardest pill to swallow why because it's first of all it's negative and secondly it's all doom and gloom it's an end stick the black pill tells you to be tall and handsome when it comes to dating and i'm just using dating as an example because that is well should i say it's part of the manosphere getting girls all of this all of this dump that they try to inject <clears throat> in your brain online it's you know i mean that that is not directly the reason but the reason i got off social media like facebook well actually <clears throat> i only use facebook because i have got to use messenger to um, and keep in contact with very important contacts. So I had a second thought about Facebook, but I don't... See, that's the thing. I don't go on Facebook a lot, um, but it's just for essential contact and certain people who need to rely on Facebook that I talk to. Um, but Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, they're all deleted. I don't use it anymore personally. <clears throat> and if you don't think I'm lying, go and check. Go and type truck on guy on Instagram. You won't see me. You won't. And see this. This hurts me the most. Where people believe this. Believe some of the. Not not some of it. But the majority of it. Because. Take Wheat Waffle for example. A black pill supporting YouTuber. Who in my opinion seems quite befuddling when he presents his numbers trying to do a mathematical analysis of the face structure it's I, I don't know whether to say that that is becoming normal because that's how worked up society is now like do you see what i mean they are going as far as to analyzing your looks your nose, your facial structure, your ears, your neck. Are you are you kidding me? There's, see, genetics is complicated. And these YouTubers think that they know everything about genetics. Do they fuck? You see, this is what people need to stop doing. And that's to giving in information that may not be true. Always check the facts, right, that we currently have. Ask yourselves questions. Try the Socratic method. Because you need to ask questions upon questions upon questions. It's a never-ending loop. But the point of that is you've got to open yourself to different perspectives. And not just, just one credible source that is absolute fact. Because now misinformation is at its peak as ever. Um... In social media, TikTok, I don't go on it personally. It is, I, I do think TikTok um, 
has it's full of chaos and um I mean no comment on anybody who uses TikTok. If they're gonna use it for their own benefit, then go ahead and use it for your own benefit. But it's it's not for me. It's not my cup of tea. But you see what I mean? Society has its own agenda and it's put against you. Um and just to say about education as well, I do think education is manipulated in the context of the modern day values. It's just all woolly and it's becoming this, this developmental hub where children are given into this information because they have no other choice. Now, if you were to sit that same child in a Russian school, he would learn Russian with an instant. So when he grows older, he will speak nothing but Russian. So the same as modern values, if you put that on a typical boy or a, a girl, they are going to certainly be delusional because they, have be they themselves have no choice but to become oblivious to the truth. See what I'm getting at? Stuff like the blue, red and black pill is becoming an absolute joke. I prefer identity. Be yourself. Be the best version of yourself and accept that modern day people are not always going to accept you. And when they do come into your life during your highest, don't fall for that. Don't assume that they've changed because they said so. They have got to prove that they've changed. Honestly. And you know, I'll say this from the bottom of my heart. It crushes me to hear people regret what they do. I know, I know a few people that I won't name who have been gullible in certain moments in their life. Let's put it that way. You see what I'm getting at? We are overloading ourselves with information that we could block off to get concrete, near factual information that we could use to stay truthful. That and this, where is it? Where is it? Oh, where the heck is it? Is it not here? Oh, where is it? Um, hmm. trying to, I was trying to find the Quran. Uh, ah, there we are. You take the Holy Bible and the Quran, for example. Yes, this comes as a Surprise! I do read the Holy Bible, but I also read the Quran. Um, and before you go type down the comments and say, are you converting to Muslim and you, you are a true Christian? Listen, I have spoken to myself about my religious identity. And I am still in the process of figuring out what my philosophies are and what commonalities do I have with the Quran and the Holy Bible. And essentially, let me just show you something before I get off this video. Um, in other words, signing out. Um, this is called My Path Towards the Everlasting of Happiness. And this contains my personal experiences all summarized into one. Into one, that's right. Now, I update that every now and then. More than every once in a blue moon, should I say. 
because I am um, I'm productive, scheduling in days where I have to uh, delegate my assignments and just simply grind on the work that I must do because it's a priority for me. So what I'll have to say is this. Just make sure that you explore your mind, but also make sure to explore external knowledge that you might have not heard of before. Because people who refuse to accept the truth, and I'm talking about the new truth. The new truth is this. If we do not become good enough to turn this manosphere into a positive manosphere, because I feel like this manosphere is about war. I do. So I advise you all to put your thinking caps on.